by iBuyDirect. Um, it's a really cool company where you can get low cost eyeglasses um, or sunglasses, prescription or non-prescription. Um, and it's really good quality and I've been using them for a couple of years and I really enjoy it. So you basically, um, you need your prescription. Um, you can get it from your eye doctor. Legally, they have to give it to you, it's yours. So if they give you a hard time, which they probably will, just say, I just want my prescription, please give me a copy. Um, you upload it and the screen makes it really easy. It's broken down just the way it is on the prescription pad. Um, of course, you can buy all of these frames without prescription in the lens. You can also get them in sunglasses and I'll go over that too. So um, I'm gonna quickly go over how it works um, and then we'll go into some of my favorite frames that I've been wearing for a little while now. The packaging is really cool. Um, they do have uh, a designer line called Reflect. Now that one, um, I believe, comes with like a leather case for your glasses. Um, all the regular ones come with this little box. Inside is a little bag, um, an eyeglass cleaner, and a little tool to adjust the arms or the nose pads if your frames have nose pads. So the first frame I want to talk about are the ones that I have on right now. These are Hurricane. Um, these are in the size large and the color is matte gray. These are the newest pair that I've um, purchased. That's a weird shot. Um, yeah, these are the only ones that I have in the size large. The rest are medium. I do have like a bigger basketball head, so um, I do think these are a nice size. I like these ones because they have a metal um, arm with a plastic frame. Yeah. Next ones are Stanford. They're in the size medium, and this is the tortoise color. Um, I do like these ones. They have the cool little keyhole nose piece. Um, all of the other frames that I own are in medium size, which I think is a good size um, for most like average to large size heads. Um, I don't wear these ones too often. They are the most kind of like bold pair that I own. Um, I wore them to a wedding, and I really liked it. Um, but yeah, it's a good like everyday pair. Again, um, full plastic frames. Um, yeah. And these next ones are Escape in the color clear, uh, size medium. These ones by far I get the most compliment, not compliments, but comments on questions on people are like oh those are kind of cool where'd you get them um obviously clear frames are kind of in right now they're kind of trendy i really enjoy them obviously they go with every outfit because they're clear um the what's interesting is they do have like a, a lot of different clear frames these ones were like, i think 19 dollars, maybe 30 um in comparison like in the reflect line they do have some clear frames which are very nicely shaped and they're different than this um, but they're a lot more expensive so this i think was a good inexpensive clear frame <laughs> Again, these ones are pretty big, um, especially for a medium. I don't know if these came in a size large, um, but I would definitely suggest size medium. Um, I really like these ones. They're super um, lightweight in comparison to some of the others. They're really thin overall. Um, the color is pretty cool too. It's, it's called cola. I mean, it's like a brownie red color. Um, yeah, I really like these ones. Like I said, I think they're the biggest sized pair that I own. Also, I want to make note, you can probably see glare in every single one of these. I'm in front of the big window in my dining room. Um, I did not get, I got the basic ones as in every single one of these pairs. Um, I want to say they're like $6.95 in addition to the cost of the frame. Um, they do have other options that have anti-glare, UV coating, uh, different things like that. So there are more premium lenses you can buy. I have the basic ones in every single one of these. And other than the glare, um, it's no big deal, and I don't really 
it's not, whatever. and I don't wear them that often. I think they're the most plain, basic. Um, they're definitely more square or rectangular than most of my other frames. Um, they do look kind of black right now. Hard to tell. They do have like a cleary brown color to them. Um, again, size medium. They're a little tight and they can probably be adjusted. I've just never taken the time to do it. Um, but yeah, these ones are pretty cheap. I think these were like $9, and I really do like them. Good shape, good size. All right, um, this pair is called Blue. It is in the color taupe and size medium. This was the first pair that I purchased. Um, still one of my favorites of all time. I don't wear them a ton. Actually, it kind of depends on the season, <laughs> weirdly as that sounds. I change my hair color a lot. Um, I find that this particular color with my skin tone and my hair all looks like the same color. Um, so that's just a weird nuance thing. But um, I really love the shape of these. This is kind of closest to, um, they have two in the reflect line called Aura and Prism, I think. Um, that are more expensive, but I like these ones as a cheaper alternative. Um, so yeah, this is Flume. Okay, last but not least, these are the one pair of sunglasses that I have. Love them to death. I don't know if they're in stock anymore. I wanted to get them in like a white uh, frame. Oh, I should tell you what they are. Millennium, the size is large here for the sunglasses. Um, the color is matte gray. The lens color you can pick, I think a couple different for the sunglasses is gray tint. Um, but these are amazing. They're super lightweight. They have this really cool nose base. Um, mm, that reflection though, yeah. They're awesome. It was a little more expensive for the sunglasses with, so if you'll see the frame price, um, but it does go up a little bit if you get them prescription. Again, all of mine are prescription. I wear glasses every single day. Mm, yeah. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was informative. Um, before I started buying these, I was trying to look on YouTube for different try-on videos to see what kind of frame shapes I would like. If you're anything like me, um, if you've worn glasses for a long time, you know that um, a lot of times you'll look at the gigantic wall of frames and you'll try on 20 before you find one that you actually think looks good on your face. So buying them online is a little intimidating, so it's good to have a resource like this um, available. So yeah, again, thanks.